Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and now they're running a promotion to where if you deposit $100, you can receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600. It's literally free money. The link is down in the description. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my dividend payments. I got paid off from 13 different companies in the month of September alone. So now I can finally say I'm truly building passive income. I am making money without even trying, literally in my sleep. So I'm gonna show you all 13 companies that paid me in the month of September and exactly how much money I got paid in dividends. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are in my Robinhood account. My account is now sitting at $29,000 at $29,190.76. For this month alone, it is not a great month. I am down $1,219.07, down 4.01% just in the month of September alone. But over the last three months, I've been doing pretty good. I've been up 16.53%. So of course, I'm gonna have a down month here and there. But yes, last month was not actually profitable for me. So what I did, I went in and I bought up a bunch of more dividend paying stocks while the prices are low. Everything is on sale, so I decided to buy a lot more stocks. So let me go ahead and dive in and show you guys which companies paid me in the month of September and how many shares of each company I actually own to make this amount of money. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and dive into it. The first one that paid me on September 1st is PEY with a dividend payment of $1.51. At the time, I owned 25 shares and they paid out six cents per share. If we take a look at PEY, just notice I just got paid for only owning 25 shares. Now I own 57 shares worth of PEY. So, so next time I get paid from PEY, I'll probably make double the amount of what I just made. So the first stock that paid me out on September 1st was PEY of $1.51. The next one is one of my favorites, SPHD. I own 30 shares of SPHD at the time, which paid out 14 cents per share, and they paid me out a total of $4.49. If we take a look at SPHD over the last month, they are also down um, 4.93%, and I still own 30 shares of SPHD. I am currently down $230.61, 19%, in the hopes of SPHD recovering soon. If we take a look at the year mark on SPHD, right now it's at $32.77. Hopefully it ends up recovering up to $43 within the next year or so in order for me to gain profit and collect sweet dividends from SPHD. So that's SPHD paying me out a total of $4.49 bringing me to a total of six dollars and two cents the next one is wtrg water it is a utility company at the time i own five shares of it paying out 25 cents per share for a total amount of one dollar and 25 cents we take a look at this company over the last month they're also down 7.45 percent so if you see the trend most of these companies are down over the last month just because the market is taking a little correction right now so if we take a look at water i have five shares it says i'm up 198 dollars and 90 cents but that's just because they had changed their tickle symbol name so robin hood really calculated a little funny but i believe that i am in profit from water over time so water paid me out a dollar and 25 cents, bringing me to a total of $7 and 27 cents. The next one is Walmart. I own 7.59 shares of Walmart at the time, paying me out 54 cents per share for a total of $4 and 10 cents. If we take a look at Walmart over the last month, they are also down just a slight, not even a full percent down 0.1%. Um, over the last three months, they have been killing it. They're up 14.98%, almost 15%. If we take a look at Walmart, I got a little bit a little bit more worth of Walmart at 7.67 shares now. Uh, market value of $1,053. 
and my total return from Walmart is $102.14, up 10.73%. So, so thank you, Walmart, for being so great to me. So Walmart paid me out a total of $4.10, bringing my total to $11.37. Bringing us to company number five, Exxon Mobil, this company, I own one share of it, paying out 87 cents per share, so a total of 87 cents. If we take a look at Exxon Mobil over the last month, ooh, they're down 15.58%. That is a major deal. Maybe I should decide on what I'm going to do with my one share. Right now, I'm down almost 50% from only Exxon Mobil. I know it's only $34, but still, I am. I took a major hit from Exxon Mobil. So I might decide to sell this stock in the future. If we take a look over the year, they just got hammered all the way up from being up to 69 cents. So hopefully once again, over the next course of the year, this company recovers and I can still earn some dividends from them because they do have a 10.05% dividend yield right here. So I might hold on to Exxon Mobil for the time being. But right now they pay me out 87 cents, bringing me to a total of $12.24. Bringing us to company number six, Microsoft. At the time, I did not even own a full share of Microsoft. I own only 0.57 shares of Microsoft, paying out 51 cents per share. So I got half of that of a total of 29 cents. But if we pull up Microsoft over the last month, they're down 8.58%. So most of these companies are still down. But over the last three months, they're up 2.16%, which is good. But we're worried about the last month. Not a good month for September. I'm down 8.58%. But overall total, I'm up 16.81% from Walmart, up $17.15. So Microsoft paid me out a total of 29 cents, bringing me to a total of $12.53. The next one is AGNC, paying me out on September 11th as well i got paid out from only 95 shares of agnc 12 cents per share with a total of 11 dollars 40 this is a monthly paying dividend stock let's take a look at agnc over the last month they are down 1.49 percent but over the last three months they've been up 7.91 percent now i own 100 shares finally of agnc so agnc takes up around 1392 dollars of market value from owning 100 shares and I am down $25.97. But as you guys can see, I've been getting paid dividends from AGNC a little over a year now. So I am definitely up from this company. I'm not actually down $25 just because I've been collecting these dividends. So that's AGNC paying me out a total of $11.40. Bringing my total to $23.93. The next one is 3M, ticker symbol MMM. They pay me out from only two shares, um, $1.47 per share. So they pay me out $2.97. If we take a look at 3M over the course of the last month, you know, they are the guys that make all the masks that we should be wearing when we go outside, right? right all right so they're down 3.24 percent they're at 159 dollars and 81 cents the market value that i own is 322 dollars but i am currently down 29 dollars and 52 cents i am a believer of 3m and i also use their products so i'm not getting rid of my two shares anytime soon this is a company i'm going to pass down eventually to my kids so this company is going to stay in my stock portfolio forever so 3m paid me out two dollars and 97 cents bringing my total to 26 dollars and 90 cents okay here we are on reality income ticker symbol O. they paid me out on september 15th at the time i owned seven shares of reality income paying out 23 cents per share for a total of one dollar and 64 cents if we take a look at this company as well i am down 19 dollars and 52 cents but i believe i made that back from dividend payments alone i've I received more than $19 in dividends from Ticker Symbol O. If we look at them over the last month, they are down 3.06%. So not too bad, but they still got room for improvement. So Ticker Symbol O, Realty Income, it is a REIT. It pays me out every single month. They pay me out a total of $1.64, bringing me to a total of $28.54. 
The next one is PSEC, P-S-E-C. I own four shares at the time, paying out six cents per share for a total of 24 cents. All right, here we are on PSEC. I am up $19.18. Uh, I think I received a free share from Robinhood from PSEC for someone signing up using my referral link. So that's why it says I'm up 175% because I believe someone used my referral link. So thank you. Mm, thank you. So, um, can't get too much more information on that. These are just a high dividend company. Their dividend yield is at 14.26%. A lot of people on YouTube talk about PSEC because their dividend yield is so high. So I'm just gonna hold on to these six shares and continue to collect these dividends over time. So PSEC paid me out a total of 24 cents bringing my total to $28.78. The next one is Waste Management. They paid me out on September 18th. I own 2.2 shares of Waste Management at the time, paying me out 54 cents per share for a total of $1.21. If we take a look at Waste Management over the last month, they are down 0.2%, so really just sideways. But if we take a look at the year chart, their all-time high was up to 125. And if you got in at the dip around 90, congratulations to you because waste management is not going anywhere no time soon. There's a very boring company. They just had steady growth. As you can see over the last five years, they're up 126%. Nothing about this company is just gonna make it shoot up in the price or really drop down in prices is going to be one slow steady income this is one buffett's one of his favorite stocks that he invests into and i am up 14 dollars and 50 cents and i have a dividend yield of one dollar and 86 cents so waste management is waste management those the big green and yellow garbage trucks that drive around from business to business taking out trash and trash is not going away anytime soon so waste management paid me out a dollar and 21 cents, bringing me to a total of $29.99, $29.99. Stock number 12, they paid me out on September 23rd, SPYD. It is another high dividend yielding ETF. I own 14 shares at the time, paying me out 26 cents per share with a total of $3.67. SPYD over the last month is down 6.1%. I own 14 shares and I'm down 27%, $141.32. So if we take a look over the last year, yes, SPYD was very up. This was when I was buying in. Well, before the pandemic, I was buying into it and once it crashed, it crashed. So I need to pick up some more shares while it's at a cheap price until it eventually recovers. So SPYD paid me out a total of $3.69, bringing me to a total of $33.68. And the last company that paid me out on September 24th is NVIDIA, the gaming company. They make GPUs that's gonna go inside of the PlayStation 5, Xbox computers, cloud mining servers. That's what they really focus on in the technology industry. Um, at the time, I own 0.16 of a share of paying out 16 cents per share so i got paid out three cents so this goes to show you guys that if you find a company that you believe in and you want to collect dividends from them but you can't buy a full share of that company you could do fractional shares and robin hood will still pay you out dividends from owning fractional shares of that company let's take a look at nvidia i do own a little bit more now i own 0.2 well a fourth of a full share of nvidia I am up $40 of 42 cents. So I really should have bought a lot more worth of NVIDIA over the last month. They are up, hey, they're up 0.5%, $2.98. NVIDIA have a very low dividend yield of 0.12%. So that is NVIDIA paying me out a total of three cents. Bringing my total to $33.71. All right, guys, and there you go. I just showed you how I made $33 of passive income without doing anything at all, just waking up. I got paid from 13 different companies on 13 different days. So 13 days out of in September, I made money without doing anything. So if you guys have a dividend portfolio of your own, go down in the comment section and comment how many times that you get paid this month not how much you got paid. I don't want you down there bragging, you know, hurting my feelings, talking about you got paid 500 this month. Like, 
Tell me how many times you got paid this month down in the comment section. If you only got paid once, hey, congratulations. You're starting to grow your dividend portfolio. If you got paid 30 times on 30 different days, you the man, you know? Just go ahead and let us know down in the comment section. But if you don't want to miss out on me growing my dividend portfolio, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, hit the thumbs up button. It helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.